And back with the orangs again. These animals are very intelligent. They've prepared for this game by organizing themselves into an actor's union and demanding the equity minimum rate for non-speaking primate parts. Sakita can't handle this one. He's in the ditch. Let's have another competitor, Mr. Bushi. He's got a strange technique. He coasts through the difficult, dangerous games and has trouble with the stupid, simple ones, like the balloons in Hong Kong. This was a really stupid game. If they let their stomachs out, the nail bursts the balloon and a bag of eggs comes down on their head. Just like that. And that, to make it more difficult, they have to sing a song about pigeons. Not only is Mr. Bush a tone deaf, but every time he sings about pigeons, he gets asthma and his hair starts dropping out. But this is endurance, so he sings the song just the same. Do you know the words, Brian? Oh, uh, yes, well, well uh, the song tells about the eternal life cycle of the pigeon. When it dies, it's born again into the body of a Japanese social science student who travels around the world competing in ridiculous games and who eventually dies in the final game as he's hung upside down naked over a vat of steaming manure while his big toes are set on fire. Thank you, Brian. Wow, what a song that was. And it got him through the next round and on to this. And here we have a very interesting competitor trying a new technique. Mr. Nanoa. He's been practicing communicating with his own pet orangutan, which was stuffed at birth. It seems to be going down quite well, and he seems much more relaxed than in the game before when he found himself on the receiving end of the Bangkok bat. Nanoa didn't like this at all. Behind each competitor stands a beautiful Thai lady who's been training hard with a Thai baseball team. And that was a strike. Now, pure alcohol is spat on the wound, which I am told hurts even more than somebody trying to open an umbrella inside your colon. Not only does it hurt, it's unhygienic. Coconuts are strung above their heads. Well, why not? Could some of them be enjoying it? Could I be enjoying this? Who knows? In most large cities of the world, there are places where men pay a lot of money for this kind of treatment, but the Noah's offering money to the girl to stop. Look at his face. The last time I saw agony like that was in the audience at the Barry Manilow concert. Nanoa was there. Let's see that one again in slow-mo. Yes, he did that when Barry asked him to come up on the stage. What do you think of this, Brian? Oh, well, this does remind me of school, Harold. Actually, this is the standard punishment at English public schools uh, for pupils seen walking around with their hands in their pockets. I had mine sewn up, as a matter of fact. Well, that's very interesting. Well, at least the presenter Yutake is enjoying himself. What's he asking? Does it hurt? What do you think, Yutake? Why not try it yourself? Now, no one knows how much it hurt. He was there and sitting with a bunch of friendly orangutans seems like paradise in comparison. But like all paradises, it's got to come to an end. She's offering to be a foster mother to his little kid. And he's not that keen. Now Stomo's getting excited because in comes the final competitor in this game, Mr. Kawasaki. 
He's an engineering student, and he's working out what stresses the bamboo cage can take before it collapses. The last time he was under stress was hanging around in the trees dressed as a human bat. <laughs> Kawasaki always had trouble doing Dracula impersonations. But it's even more difficult when you're being smoked and having Singapore cockroaches stuffed into your trousers. And here comes the smoke. Bats don't like smoke, and nor do people dressed up as bats. Well, how about bats dressed up as people? No research has been done on that, but I'll keep you informed. Kawasaki doesn't want to give up, so in go the cockroaches scurrying all around over our intrepid contestants and trying to hide in their armpits or belly buttons, but not up their butts. No, these cockroaches aren't taking any chances. They've seen the games before, and there's no way they're going to be squashed by a cannonball in between a pair of hairy Japanese cheeks. <laughs> This is how Sugar Ray Robinson used to train for his fights on the grounds that if he ever got the daylights knocked out of him, he could always get a job as a vampire. あ、ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。